three traditional disciplines that are associated with growing in our life of faith, going deeper in our relationship with the Lord, silence, solitude, and simplicity. So silence about being still internally, externally, solitude, coming, come away with me, come apart, or simplicity, strip down and focus, do what matters. Of those three disciplines, what are, again, which where would you put the emphasis in terms of a need for us today to appreciate more, enter into more fully? These are great questions. Wow. <laughs> I um, told you this is going to so, be a different interview. Don't worry. They're going to get it. harder. They're going to get harder, so, too. I, I think most people would say silence, but I would actually say it's solitude. And, and I would say it's solitude because um, silence, apart from solitude, is just silence. I think the the primary call, at least the way I would see it, the thing that's most important right now is to, again, let's go back to that question you asked before with the initiative that God's coming towards us. God's continually knocking on the door of our hearts, inviting us to come away and to be with him. It's only once we're with him that we then enter into silence so that we can be in communion with him. We can talk to him. We can listen to him. And you know, the, the single greatest habit that anybody ever taught me was to give the first fruits of the day to God by being with him. And, and one of the ways that we're with him is by entering into silence. But the first call, I think, is to be with him. I love that. That's a great insight. So a lot of folks struggle with solitude, I think, because they think of it as isolation. So they're coming apart to be by themselves versus coming apart to be with God. And so I think they really struggle with that sense of the presence of the Lord if they were to come away from the crowd, come away from the busyness. Yeah, and, and you know, like one of the thoughts that maybe ties these last two things together is I think so many of us have this image that when Jesus ascended, he left, which is not true. Like the whole idea of Jesus seated at the right hand of the Father doesn't mean that he's far away. It means that he is exercising lordship over the universe because that's what it means to sit at the right hand in Scripture. And so God isn't somewhere far away. Like heaven isn't some other place. It's like another, it's another um, dimension of the one reality that is where God is. And every once in a while, the Lord comes through the veil, but the Lord is right here, right now, and right there, right now. And so like, I don't have to go find him wherever I am. He's there. And if I would but um, be ever more cognizant of that and ask the Holy Spirit to help me to understand it, uh, we might be in a better place with regards to solitude. Okay. Excellent. Thank you.